All right, today we'll be learning five commands in order to master navigating the Linux file system. First, we'll wanna start a terminal, find your search bar on whatever Linux distro you're using and start a terminal up so we can start issuing commands right away. I'm using Ubuntu here and you'll notice a blinking cursor right away. That means a terminal is ready for us to start issuing commands. So the first command we wanna learn is PWD, also known as print working directory. This will tell us where we're currently at in the system so home savvy Nick is the current location. You can think of this as right here. If I clicked home, I'm actually in the home savvy Nick directory. This is an absolute path, meaning from the root directory, we are under the home directory and then underneath the savvy Nick directory, which is the current home user that I am logged in as. This is where most terminals will load you into. So just understand that. Now, the second command is if we want to change directories, this is important to navigate the file system. So if we want to, we can type in CD that stands for change directory directory and folders are synonymous with each other on windows. They tend to call it folders here in Linux. We tend to call it directories. Now what's nice here is if I put a space and then tab twice, I can actually get all the various different directories that I can access, which is currently located in the path that I'm in. So if I wanted to get to the desktop, let's say back here, I just have to type in CD space and then type in desktop. After I press enter, you'll notice this line over here changed. This right here, this tilde represents the home user's current directory, which we said earlier was home savvy Nick. And then it says desktop, which is the current directory that you are in in blue. To confirm that we'll use the last command we learned PWD. And sure enough, we're in the home savvy Nick desktop directory. If you ever want to go back a directory, that's pretty simple as well. You just type in CD and then space dot dot. And that takes you back to the directory that you were in before PWD. Look at that home savvy Nick, just like we were in before. We'll change directories once more back to the desktop because I want to speak about another way you can get back to the home directory. No matter where you're at on the system is by simply typing CD space and then tilde and pressing enter. That will take you back to the home user directory again. Or if you wanted to, let's navigate to desktop one more time and just do CD. That also is a shortcut to get you back to the home user directory. Many ways to do this. Just make sure you understand that CD helps you change directories both up and down in the file system. That way you can master how to navigate through this system. Let's continue on to the third thing. So the next command I want to use is LS or what's known as list. This lists all files and directories that are currently located in the directory where you're at. So you'll notice I'm in the home user directory, which has desktop documents, downloads, music, and so on and so forth. If I just clicked on home, here's a visual representation for what you're actually seeing desktop documents, downloads, so on and so forth. I'm going to clear things out again. If you're ever lost, just type in PWD. So you know where you're located at the CD command, which we learned about before change directory. So I can go to another important directory. If you just type in a slash here, this is the root directory or the overall system directory where it stores everything that belongs on the system. Think of this as the C drive on windows. If I press enter, now I'm at the root directory. And why I want to do this is if I type in LS again, I'll see everything that's in the root directory, including binary files, dev files, library files, mounting points, the root directory, and many, many other system libraries and directories. We, of course, as users trying to master the navigation of Linux. Don't want to make any changes in here, but I do want to make you aware of the root directory. So let's navigate to the desktop directly from the root directory by doing CD space slash we'll type in home slash whatever user that you're using. I'm using savvy Nick. So I'm typing that in and then finally the desktop for that user. And I've officially navigated over. How can I tell PWD we're back to our first command? And there we go. I'm in home savvy Nick desktop. I'm actually going to go back a directory. So CD space dot dot and then do LS space dash AL, which lists everything and anything, including hidden files in whatever directory that you're currently in. It also tells you what user owns the current file or directory that's listed. And it gives you a nice list of directories and files. So it's easy to see when they were created, how big they are and what user and permissions are currently given to the directory or file. Definitely one I like to use LS dash 
space dash al or for the purists we'll do dash la anyways clearing that out let's talk about the fourth command we've learned how to navigate up and down the file system but how do we create a new directory on the file system to make a graphical representation of things i'm going to actually make it on the desktop we'll use cd and just navigate to the desktop for savvy nick nothing currently there i did ls i can also do ls dash al this just says the current working directory really means there's nothing currently located on the desktop, which holds true if we look at the background. Anyways, let's create a new directory by using our fourth command. In order to master the Linux file system here, we'll do mkdir and then space the name of our directory. I'm just going to call it Savvy Nick and press enter. Whoa, notice down here on the bottom, we've actually have a new directory created. And now you see a visual representation of what actually happened. We created a new directory on the home user desktop, which you notice in the background because I'm logged in with this user. And to go to that directory, I can now do CD space savvy Nick. If I do LS, there's of course nothing in here. You can create a new file using your favorite editor, but in a graphical sense, we can use something like a text editor to actually create a file in there. Hello, this is Savvy Nick. And let's actually save this. We'll save it in the desktop Savvy Nick folder. I'm just going to call it Savvy Nick. And then hit save, exit out. And if I type in ls, notice we have Savvy Nick. You can use your favorite text editor to actually see what's in here. This is not the fifth command to navigate things to work with the file system, but we notice that we have hello, this is Savvy Nick. And I wanted to create this because it's important for the next and final command to master navigating and using the file system. And that is the remove command. Now be careful with this one because when you use the remove command, also known as RM, you can delete whatever file or directory that you want. Again, if I type in LS, I have this savvy Nick file, which I'm going to delete. I can do remove RM space and then the file name. So savvy Nick, if I do that, Type in ls, that file is gone now. And I'll check in Savvy Nick. Sure enough, the folder is empty. So the reason I could remove Savvy Nick, the file, was because I'm currently logged in with the user Savvy Nick. If you needed to remove a system file or something owned by the root user, you'd have to log in as that root user. That's for a different day. I'm not going to talk about that. But what I do want to talk about is how to remove a directory with our last command that we're going to learn to master things here. And notice on the desktop, I have Savvy Nick. How do I check that? Using ls, a command we learned. Okay, Savvy Nick is available. How do I remove a directory? Well, there's a special flag for that. We still use rm, we do a space, we do dash r, and then we do the directory we want to remove. Notice I put in Savvy Nick. You don't need the slash. You can put the slash. It doesn't really matter. Press enter and notice on the desktop, that folder is gone. And if I do ls, that folder doesn't exist here. Fantastic work today. You've learned the top five commands in order to navigate and use the Linux file system here. You can use this on any Linux distribution out there. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe below for more of these videos and learning more advanced commands. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.